Hello, my name's Dr. Gill. I've been asked to do an examination of your knees today. Uh, before I start, can I please confirm your name and date of birth? Uh, yes, it's uh, Ross Cooper, 7th of August, 1994. Super, thank you. So in terms of doing this examination, it's going to involve you walking five steps, turning back. It's going to involve you getting on the couch, and I'm going to press around the knee. I'm going to move the knee, and then we're going to see if we can find any problems with some special tests, moving and pulling the knee around. Are you happy to proceed with that? Yes. Super. So start off, if I can get you to uh, walk five paces, turn and come back. Okay, so we've got a good gait there. There's no uh, limping. Uh, we can see a normal um, stride, so no issues there. And I'm just going to have a quick look at your shoes now. And then we can see there's a, a good wear pattern there. Um, nothing asymmetrical to indicate we've got a problem at the ankles with pronation or supination. So that confirms what we're seeing there with the gait. So having a look at um, your stance, I can't see any uh, varus or valgus uh, knee deformities, and there's no signs of scarring, uh, there's no obvious inflammation, and I can't see any evidence of psoriasis or problems with the skin. Have a look at the side, the calves um, all appear to be normal. Okay, then having a look at the knees from behind, can't see any evidence of uh, Baker's cysts. There's no swelling or issues with the popliteal fossa. With that in mind, can I get you to climb up on the couch, please? And swing your legs up and lie down, please. Okay, so having a look over the knees, I can't see any obvious scarring, and there's no clear issues uh, with regard to inflammation or swelling. I'm just looking from the side and I can't see any evidence of fixed flexion deformities. Just checking for temperatures. Everything appears to be normal there. Okay, we're just going to do the patella tap. So pressing either side and tapping over the knee, so no problems there. And again on the opposite side. Okay, we're doing the sweep test, so coming up the medial side and across. And there's no obvious bulge, nor can I feel it. And on this side, sweeping up and around and I can't feel an obvious bulge coming through that side. So I'm just going to move the knee up. Okay, so we're just going to walk around the knee and see if we can see any signs of pain or tenderness. So starting off at the tibial tuberosity, going up the patella tendon, around the patella, up to the femoral condyles, coming up back to the joint line, pressing around to see if we can see any steps or feel any discomfort at the medial and lateral aspects of the joint. Just going to put my hands deep behind your knee. You're going to feel some discomfort. Any pain or problems there? Good, I can't feel anything underneath. So relax that down for me. And do the same again on this side. So again, checking the um, tibial tuberosity. No discomfort there. And up the patella tendon. And then round up to the femoral condyles. Any discomfort? No. Back to the joint line. Tell me if anywhere hurts. And there's no obvious issues with that. Checking behind the knee, so deep discomfort. Any problems there? No. That's fine, I'm relaxed down for me. So if I just get you to raise this leg up for me slightly, okay. and back down again, and if we can get you to raise this leg up instead. Super, thank you. So what that's telling me is the patella tendons are intact. I'm just going to move your legs ever so slightly. So, okay, so there's a slight hyperextension there, but nothing of any great significance. So just checking the range of movement. If you could take your heel up to your bottom for me, please. Great. And back down. I'm going to do the same again on this side up. And back down. Thank you. I'm just going to do the same. So holding the knee, driving, coming up, and back down. So there's no creaks or cracks. That all feels good. And there's no obvious with patella misalignment or maltracking. Again, nice smooth knee. No creaks, crepitations, or problems with the patella. So now we're going to do some of the special tests to assess the ligaments. So I'm going to put your knee back up again. Having looked from the side, I can't see any obvious uh, sag sign. So I'm holding behind the calf, stabilizing the ankle and pulling forwards. And I can't see an obvious step forming there. So we know the ACL is intact and we can't see any reason for the PCL to be an issue. So bringing the knee to um, about 15 degrees, I'm checking the MCL, and then swapping hands over and checking the LCL. And back down again. And then coming up on this side, again, looking the same, there's no signs of a sag. So stabilizing and pulling forwards, and there's no obvious step forming, so we know the ACL and PCL are good. 
So bringing the knee to about 15 degrees, checking the lateral collateral, so there's a little bit of a bounce, and then checking over the medial collateral. So again, a little bit of a bounce, but nothing worrying there. If I just get you to swing your legs around for me. Okay, with your um, legs uh, hanging like so, I'm just going to press over the patella. Please stop me if it feels unpleasant. Any problems with that? No. Super. I'm going to do the same again on the opposite side. So tell me if there's any problems with that. No. Super. So we haven't found any abnormalities with your knee examination. Do you have any questions for myself? No. Super. Thank you very much. Thank you.